Okay, this is going to be a quick video on how to do a break-even analysis in Excel. How to make a nice table showing at what year you would break even given different revenue growth rates and different expense growth rates. So the basic setup is you're thinking about purchasing a company and currently the revenues are 200,000 a year and the expenses are 350,000. However, the revenues are expected to grow at 25% and the expenses at only 10%. So let's start by filling in this table. So we're going to say this equals this times 1 plus this growth rate. Okay, And then we're going to put little dollar signs in front of that by clicking function F4. And then here we're going to have this one equals the current expenses times 1 plus the expense growth rate. And again, we're going to put a little dollar signs in front of the D3 by clicking function F4. And now we can pull these all the way out till the end of 15 years. And of course, you could do this for more years, but I'm just doing it for 15 years. So now the question with a break even is. When is the year where the revenues are greater than the expenses? So we can look at this and see that that in this particular case with revenues going at 25%, expenses at 10%, that would be in year five. But we want to be able to change those growth rates and change the number of the year. So what we're going to do is use the if and function. We're going to say equals if and, so this is going to be two conditions. And we're going to say if revenue is greater than expense, so that's the first condition, and in the year before, revenue was less than expense, so this will capture the first year we break even, both those things happen, then choose this year up here. Otherwise, choose zero. Oh, I need, might need another bracket there. Yeah, I do right here. Okay, now let's drag that out. And lo and behold, in year five, where our revenues are greater than our expenses, it gives us a five. Every other year, it gives us a zero. Okay. The next thing we want is to fill in this total, which will tell us when this is going to happen. So we're going to say equals if the sum of this line here, that sum right there is greater than zero. In other words, there is a year in which it breaks even, right? Give us that number of the sum, gives the number. Otherwise, in other words, if it doesn't break even at all, just give us a little dash. Okay. So now for this cell, we're going to say equals this cell. And now we're going to make a data table. So we're going to go into data. What if analysis, data table. Now the row input cell, so it's this top row here, is going to be the revenue growth rate. The column input cell is going to be expenses. We're going to hit OK. And there it is. It's telling us the year it breaks even. So we could check this and say, OK, when the growth is 25%, expenses is 10%, what do we get? Yes, indeed, we get 5, which we should get. Okay, that's it. I hope that's helpful.